Gabby looks thrilled to be here. Right <laughs> <laughs> off this morning. Good morning and welcome back to another day in Oahu, Hawaii. Today we are at the Kalua Ranch where we are going to do a movie sites tour where they film 51st Dates, Jurassic Park, Lost, and a, couple, a lot of other TV shows and movies. Welcome. Let me see if you have any questions. 51st Dates, Waffle. Wow. <laughs> yes. So we got some breakfast at the Kahlua Ranch. Me and Gabby both got acai bowls. Except we picked off, well she picked off some of the lychee. I haven't tried the lychee yet, but we're gonna see. The texture looks kind of interesting. Mom and Dad got, got scrambled eggs and fruit. Taste test the lychee. I'm like scared now, because you like ripped off the whole. It's not bad, I just... No, it's not bad, it's a texture, it's like grossing me out. Was crawling on me the other day. Well, it's a dusty bus. It's alright. <coughs> bus with the windows wide open. We're out in the wild. Over here? Actually, you know what I'm talking about? The biggest loser. They filmed that, I guess. I guess. Uh, well, one episode. Well, there it is. Karate Kid too. <laughs> Come on, Spain. <laughs> Girl, Did you ever watch that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> George was like, no, suck. It was like, don't know what that is. Oh yeah, 51st date. <laughs> oh, I was really good to back to Los Angeles, the cafe. Oh. Oh, that's close. Oh, and a cafe. I didn't know that. Lost. It's an apple. <laughs> I need some more light. It's funny. I know, you got <laughs> Get on the scene. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, I'm going to get in the box. Some of the cattle as well, in case we see some in the valley. 
So we have heard for Charlie's and Angus. They are also 100% grass grazed. So it does weigh 10,000 pounds solid stone. National Geographic was here doing a documentary trying to figure out how they move these statues on Easter Island. Coming around the corner, you're going to see the footprints of that big bad lizard, Mr. Godzilla. The most prominent footprint is going to be the one to the right side. The reason these footprints are no longer six feet deep is because our cattle was falling in. The six feet deep footprints. So the ranch, they backfill all of these Godzilla footprints with dirt to make it shallow to save the rest of the cattle. Fifty first states, Drew Barrymore as Lucy, Adam Sandler as Henry, Rob Schneider as Ula, and Woody the Penguin that wears the red aloha shirt. This is the road they film Lucy driving every day to get to and from the Hukilau Cafe. That building is also located at Armolii Pond area. That is where Lucy has her breakfast every morning. This here is the scene where Henry places Willie the Penguin in the middle of the road as a decoy for Lucy. Lucy is uh, looking for the CDs that she dropped on the floor of her vehicle, still stepping the gas, and right here, she runs over Willie the Penguin. scenes in that movie Jurassic Park. But Steven Spielberg chose the island of Kauai to film his Jurassic Park movie. Friends are here. That's still, I don't know, is that Jurassic or is that That's Jurassic. Cool? I need to update that though because he's not just that baby anymore. Alright, so we finished our tour at. I feel like we're saying it wrong. It's not Kalu, it's Cal. How is she saying it? Kualoa. Kualoa. Kualoa Ranch, where they filmed all the movies. I didn't realize they filmed that much there, so it was definitely interesting to see. What did you guys think about the tour? I thought it was cool. We went to the Boneyard, which Cassie it's probably called Island of uh, King Kong. Yeah, and I like going in the bunker too. That was cool to see how. Yeah, I like the bunker. How many films were actually filmed there? Savannah. Uh, <laughs> we got pepperoni pizza. Chicken sandwich and pizza. Chicken Sammy. Chicken Sammy. Salad. Cheese pizza. All at Happy's snack bar for like, I don't even know how many days we've eaten here, but a lot. It's a lot, but it's good. So we hung out at the pool today after our Kualoa ranch day. Hung out at the pool and now we're going to a sunset catamaran ride. It should be fun. Uh, we've done a catamaran before in Grand Cayman and somewhere else on one of the cruises we've done. So it should be fun. One, I mean... That's our catamaran that we're getting on right there. This previous group is all in white. I'm guessing it was one big group.
Great question, sir. You guys want to know what's in the bar? Yeah. yeah. Alright, we've got a couple things in here. We do have water. We have Coke and Diet Coke. We have Sprite. And some non-alcoholic juice for the kiddos over there. But if you guys are ready to rumble, you guys are of age, we got the strongest Bud Light on the island right here. <laughs> <laughs> we have three craft beers, which is debatable. The Kona Brewing Co. We have their uh, Longboard Lager, their Big Wave Golden Ale, and the Hanalei IPA. Which is like a nice fruity IPA for you guys. For those of us trying to work your beers out there, we have the Mango flavored White Claw in there. And then if you're celebrating something, we have some Pinot Grigio white wine and some bubbly champagne. Why not, take right? champagne. I'll take yeah. champagne. And then last but not My three I had my two glasses of champagne. <laughs> <laughs> Catamaran was good. It was an open board. I had two of glasses of <laughs> I had two glasses of champagne and a white claw and I think one other drink. And now we're trying to find somewhere to go to dinner because apparently Bebo's at Helicoa doesn't want to seat us for ten people. So we're trying to find somewhere else to go. Tomorrow is our last day here. Not ready for it to be the last day. <sighs> I feel like vacation is one of those things you wanted to just keep going. You don't want to go back to normal life. So 
we're on our way to try to find something to eat, whether that's Bebo's or something else, but we'll see. <laughs> Like the fifth floor so probably like somewhere in here we're not the one with the light on but very calm here very pretty not a typically hotel because <laughs> not a typical hotel because not a lot of people have access to this again it's either military DOD or families of people who have access to this if you want the eligibility, you gotta actually go and look on the website because there is a specific eligibility to stay here. So they're they're breaking up our party, so they're gonna have the four well, kids, the four kids sit at one table and all the adults at one table. So we and kids, I'm not paying for this bill. It's not going to me or any of y'all. So I don't need They made us scan the menus on their actual QR code. So we'll see if we actually get real menus or not, but we'll go from there. Where is the menu? I'll probably just post the menu at this point. Um, <laughs> Let me just post the menu. No, I'll just post it next, like, so people can actually see what it actually looks like. Um, where did I get the other night? Yeah, your pasta was good, guys. I might get that. It was good, but I don't want it again. I might get that. Oh, let's get an appetizer. What? <laughs> I mean, we ain't paying for it. <laughs> Charge it. Do you want to try the pina colada shrimp? I was looking at that. For an appetizer and just see how it goes. All right, well, let's do that as an app and then everybody can get whatever they want. I don't know. So first we got that one of me diving, our probably. Shark, our shark pictures finally came through, so we're very excited and they're going to be posted like, shortly. Good one of me diving, because I struggled. Oh the lady had to drag me down to get the picture. <laughs> I'm kind of my balls. Dreaming, man. Yeah, this is the Cajun shrimp what I got the other night. And this is the red snapper with the rice and broccoli. Excited. We'll see how it tastes compared to the fish market. I don't know how many days ago that was at this point, but it was very good. But this looks pretty good too, so we'll see. Bebas. We'll see how Bebas holds up against the competitors. <laughs> All right. So we are back in the room. We went to Bebas for dinner. We had a late dinner because we got on the catamaran. I had some red snapper. It was actually really good. And Savannah had the Cajun shrimp pasta, which I had, I don't know how many nights ago. But what did you think? It was really good, but it was really spicy. Like, my lips are still burning from it. <laughs> but it was very packed. Like, our parents, we had the split table. So, like, the four kids went to dinner, and then, like, the six parents went to dinner. They just got in, and we just finished. So, like... Yeah, it was, it was very busy. We probably could have went somewhere else for dinner, but we opted to just stay at the hotel because it's our second to last night. And going out, it's just, we were probably going to wait even longer if we went out into the town to actually get something to eat. And now we're probably just going to go up to Gabby and Kayla's room, just hang out for a little bit, watch some TV, and probably go to bed. I feel like the last couple nights have been really lame, but 
after the long days, everybody is just exhausted and very tired, and we're getting to the end of the trip where everybody is just ready to go home. Ready to go home, very tired, and yeah, it's just at that point. Um, but probably just gonna end it here because we're just gonna go up there for a little bit and probably come back here and go to bed. But um, I hope you enjoyed this vlog between I can't even say the name because they pronounce it different ways. What? Uh, Kualoa. How did they pronounce it? It wasn't Kalua Ranch, it was Kaualoa. Something like that. Kualoa, Kaualoa, one of the two. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the vlogs and hope you hopefully you watched the last one. Um, not sure the next vacation we're actually gonna go on because I think we have a cruise planned for January, but in between here and then I'm not sure what we're actually gonna do. So make sure to subscribe, like the video. Um Stay tuned for anything else that might be posted. I'm not 100% sure. Um, we'll see. Uh, I know this has definitely been different than some of the cruise vlogs I've done. So this is a little out of my comfort zone. Just trying to do the best I can because cruises are a little bit different. Yeah. And I feel like they are a lot easier to vlog because there's always something constantly going on. So stay tuned. Stay with me. Subscribe. But I will see you guys in the morning for our last day in Hawaii. Thank you, and stay tuned. Good night. Good night.